It's a decades-long tradition that reaches across the globe. We've told you, and Dial a Carol was starting on the U of I's campus last week, but tonight is your last chance to call. WCI3 Sarah Lehman is live at Dial a Carol headquarters. Sarah, they are finally back together after last year off. Yeah, Jessica, Jennifer, check it out. We are merry and we are bright. People are calling from all around the world and the country. In the last couple of minutes that I've been here, we've gotten calls from Michigan, Texas, New York. We're getting a call right now. They're about to sing right here behind me. And it's something that they've been doing since the 1960s. But this year, organizers say they've seen a drop in numbers across the board. How the bells, sweet silver bells. That's the sound that fills Snyder Hall at the U of I, 24 hours a day for seven days in December. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. It's a holiday tradition that's been happening for decades called Dial a Carol. The line from like the movie Elf, it's like the best way to spread Christmas cheers, singing loud for all to hear. Arthur Hall is a junior, and this is his second year as a caroler for Dial a Carol. He spends hours a day singing to strangers. Oh, New York City, that's so cool. Uh, and what can I sing for you? I've gotten calls from people who are like, yeah, I'm having a bad day or like, you know, someone's passed away recently or something like that. Or like even just kids who like just want something fun to have and so it's it's nice to be able to sing for them and maybe brighten their day a little bit but this year organizers say it's been somewhat of a struggle finding people to answer the phones they say in years past they would get about 150 volunteers this year it's down to 50. so last year because of the pandemic we did a um we did an automated service uh and so you know they were like interested but they didn't they hadn't seen it uh and so this year it's kind of difficult to just tell people, yes, it is fun. And they say they've gotten significantly fewer calls. In 2019, they got around 10,000 calls. This year, they've gotten about half that. Paul says either way, he loves spreading Christmas cheer. Since the first day, I've been doing at least eight hours a day, although my average has been like 11. And I was like, oh my God, I love this. I need to do this forever. So today is the last day for Dial a Carol, and they really want to make a push for more volunteers out here answering the phone and for more calls. So if you are a U of I student, faculty, or staff, you can stop by Cider Hall and pick up a phone, make some, sing some carols, make some people's days. And if you are out there watching and you want some Christmas spirit in your life, you can call. We have that number for you over on our website. They are call, taking calls until 11.59 tonight. Again, that's over on our website, WCIA. Com. For now, reporting live in, at U of I, I'm Sarah Lehman, WCIA 3, your local news leader. All right, Sarah, have you been practicing? I want to hear a carol from you right now. You got me in the mood. Oh, yeah. Oh, we are, we're practicing. They're singing <laughs> songs that I've never heard of before. <laughs> uh, my favorite is You're a Mean One, Mr. Grinch, of course. So we're going to go sing that one. <laughs> it's going to be great. Love it. All right, Sarah, thanks so much. I'm so glad you got her to <laughs> sing. She wouldn't do that at five with me.